an unexpected order, and what I believe is an attempt to throw me into the proverbial hover bus. Take a battle group to the world of Deposse, overthrow the house tag, and take direct control of the Tag Co Corporation. An officer who served in the Clone Wars ordered to take control, as I understand it, of a widely believed to be sympathizer to the Trade Federation, though never officially joined the movement, they were a strong supporter until just before the crisis fully bloomed. Hmm. The evidence against the house is from what I can tell legit, yet limited to only one branch of the family. From what I can gather, taking down the entire house will garner a massive amount of bad will from the aristocrats on Coruscant. But this branch is seen widely as a problem. So the plan. No large invasion or massive battle. A precision strike. A handful of ISDs and a ground-based strike force on the Tug household. We'll capture the head of the family and promote the side of the house who's already pledged their allegiance to the Empire emphatically. These strange battle cruisers of theirs are of some interest. The local shipyards have had more leeway in their construction, and I would like to know more. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Captain Check here, and welcome back to Empire War Forces of Corruption, playing the fantastic mod. If it ever. Yep, yep, go on. There you go. Awakening of the Rebellion. Let's look at the galaxy. Apparently, we're staring at Renvar and Felucia. Uh, we have been doing not half bad. We actually took the planet with the weird battle cruisers. Again, oh, some of our ground forces are being built. Uh, Taposi, which has the shipyard has been removed. building. We've been dealing with corruption, which we've got a pretty good handle on it. And we took that damn world that we lost to the Black Sun not too long ago. Uh, since Vader is already up there, <laughs> there was there were messages where people were like, Shaq sent two probes to a particular planet and then never bothered to look at what was actually there. <laughs> I don't, and the sad part is I don't remember which planet it was in the comment. Anyways, we've got our spy going out. I am going to go find out what's on Bogdan. Uh, and hopefully, no, we're not going to. Well, let's see what's on Bogdan before I forget and people yell at me. Uh, let's pause it. So they're still doing that thing where they're building a bunch of T-16s. They're not too crazy. What's the base layout here? I could push back. Oh, is that all income generation? Amusement stations, yeah. A little bit of defense with an XQ-3. Okay. But push him back and hook up with Corson and then have this portion of the hyperspace land. And I wouldn't mind that as we start to surround Ord Montel, since they have come from this direction before and took Chimpala from us. Uh, so, Commoner, I know I'm blockading this. We have uh, a big Arby that's there, Leia, Han Solo's there, and they've dug in a bit. And I got a message from Mr. President, one of the devs of the mod, and they were like, hey, uh, the, one of our map authors doesn't want you to take that planet, if possible, since you're already blockading it. Just kind of wait, because we're going to put an update out, which I get, think is going to have like a cool map to go along with this, if you want to wait for it. And I want to see cool maps, so we have a whole new reason. Let's turn on all things, by the way, to uh, to not invade that planet, because interesting stuff could be happening there, which is quite fun. Uh, you have a small dockyard. I'm just worried that you're going to get swacked by rebels from like Quellor. Quellor has ground tech. That's right. I was going to go pop that. And then I got distracted by the fact that they had troops here. Let's, I'm going to move the Vader and hit their production, this income generation. I think this even gets extra money, doesn't it? Income of this planet is changing due to the high gambling. Yeah, that's what it was. We were going to go hit that. All right, Vader, come on up. Let's resume. Come on up here. I'm going to have the fleet tender come out of hyperspace first. Let's see what the range is on the sensors for this thing. As you wish. As you wish. And then let's move. Let's move. Let's pick up an outpost. Let's pick up uh, a simple space station and begin our first battle against the Black Sun. So there's been news on the Terminator front of me doing a campaign for that. There was a lot of like, oh, Shaq, you could do a campaign of that, uh, of that Terminator RTS that came out about the end of last month. And what I've been waiting for is, let's move the fleet tender over, is a patch because the difficulty was insane. Oh man, you can even see the turrets inside. They could be jettisoned out to defend the fleet. Neat. Uh, there has been a patch at a pretty substantial one. Uh, what's even funnier is that one of the things that they've done... Uh, wait, they're both their space stations for money are over here. Their defense stations like on the other side of the asteroids. 
Okay. Uh, I kind of want to hit this with a Harrier fleet, honestly. Come, come back me. here. Confirm. Because of the asteroids in the middle, I'm going to hit this with the carrier fleet. Uh, funniest thing that there, to me is that they changed the difficulty name for the first difficulty setting to, like, normal. Because it was called story before. So everybody skipped it. Because when you see, I don't know if you're like me, but if you see the story mode as a difficulty, that basically means they've turned the difficulty off, right? It's literally just story mode. There's no challenge. But that wasn't really the case. The next difficulty setting was stupid hard. All right, there's our bomber squadrons. We're just getting everything organized. It's going to take a minute. You go ahead and take point. That way you can set some turrets. Uh, yeah, let's get the brutes as well. If this doesn't work out, we can always bail. And let's get the fancy bombers with Vader. That way all of our bombers actually do more damage. And then I'll bring in some interceptors. Hopefully this will keep them busy. Just long enough. God, look at all the freighters. <laughs> I have real carriers now. I could probably get rid of these IPV reporting. freighters and be fine. Squad reporting. That is so many interceptors. Force okay, break set. off. Ready for uh, bombers. still don't have that many more Ready. bombers. Where's my fancy bombers from you, Vader? Ties reporting in. Ties reporting in. You guys get over here. Interceptors go over here. Awaiting command. All freighters. Awaiting your command. What do you mean? Oh, they're labeled something different. You guys excel. Go over there. Uh. There we go. Okay, you're over here. Still waiting on Vader to launch his fighters. The squadrons are taking their sweet time. Whenever you're ready. Where are you as an actual pilot? Deploy the fleet so that nothing gets off the system. As you wish, my lord. So mad. This is it. This is my this is my control A. Let's say. I don't see his fancy bombers. I just see TIE bombers. What's going on here? There they are. Holy crap. You took a freaking month to get out here. Yeah, so they, they changed it to being the normal difficulty. So players will actually play it because that's considered normal because the next difficulty was so hard in a game where you have persistent forces. Something that I wish uh, Empire War had more, more of a simulation of. All right, so you're going to be my group two. You guys are going to be my group one. Uh, this is a metric ton of starfighters. Let's go. I've given the order. Let's move out. Basically, I want to see if I can... You can see Vader. You can see his tie advanced in there. That's so many ties. And his fancy bombers as well. As long as the normal ties reach there first and they end up eating all the flak... Uh, and all you freighters, why don't you come up here? And we're going to start slowly replacing you, I think. Let's move Vader up. Carriers, you can sit kind of in the back. Yes, sir. And then you come on up. Yeah, I'll send you guys in. I'll send you in, but you're going to be like third wave. Our objective is to take out the enemy. Oh, there we go. We got the debuff from being inside. No, no, it's a cover bonus for being inside the asteroids. All right, the enemy forces. But we are taking some damage. Surprise! They were waiting for us! For command, sir. Oh crap! I can't get the camera to like focus on them, so there we go. Well, this didn't go well. There wasn't supposed to be anybody here. And turns out everyone is here. That's not great. I'm ordering all the bombers to engage. Hey, Vader. Where are you as a fighter pilot? You guys start tanking. Start tanking. Bombs are away. We're kind of in this fight now in a way that I didn't really want to be. Uh-oh. Did we just crash? I think we just... Oh, ooh, what was that? Oh, crap. Oh, it's just a defense station. Okay, we're fine. All of you, engage this. Thankfully, we're endurance care. No! We lost our fleet tender? I have no idea what we just lost. I don't think we lost anything. I'm sure it's fine. Our bombers are getting plenty of shots off. Uh, we just about killed. Hey, interceptors. Cover him. We just about killed one of their... Come on. Just a few more shots. Nice. Now switch targets to the next one. 
Look at you type roots. You're so slow, but you're also so tanky. Oof. Ooh, we're doing that flying in a straight line is bad thing. Hey, Vader, how you doing? Well, the rest of the fleet has engaged everything. You are actually getting hit with railgun shots from way out by Master Ever satellites, so temporary satellites. I can't send you... Oh, I can't send you reinforcements. Dropping in now. Yes, we have. We need to start launching those new fighters, and we need to get the freighters up here to start harassing. This didn't go as planned. No one was surprised. Honestly thought that they would be somewhere else. I don't know why I thought they would be at not the defense station. Maybe it was because there was that one time we... Oh, there you are. There's Vader. He's like a proper pilot. Uh, We're going to have to get you out of here, aren't we? Open fire, ISD. We need your fire right now. That's not looking half bad. That's We're not looking half bad. Vader can still pull out of there if he needs to. I'm just going to have him hold position for now. If we break your main cannon. Yeah, your heavy turbo laser is starting to get chewed up. We do. Or we are winning the Starfighter battle. Thank you, Endurance Carriers. You guys are doing great. Let's have you actually join the fight a little bit more. Uh, and we'll pop this. Because it looked like you were actually taking hits. And then get you over here as soon as we can. To get some turrets down in case they get into range. That Munificent has been destroyed. Their artillery is being wrecked. I'm going to start moving the other ISD forward so we can start eating the fights. Eating the shots. All right. Bombers. Let's go. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Got to kill those discists. Ooh, there goes a vulture droid. Okay, we're, we're through there. We're through their main line. We should be all right. We should be all right. The only problem that I have now is that those damn rail cannons just go right through the armor, right through the shield. But we're the Empire. We actually have armor that isn't paper thin. Aha. Oh, what? Have I never... Thumbnail. Uh, <laughs> have I never heard these fire before? Thump. Thump. Oh, that's pretty great. Eat turbo laser. All right, fleet. We're doing this the old-fashioned way. Let's go blow it up. All bombers. Just stick with the fleet. Don't worry about it. You guys hold out. I can't bring you reinforcements until that space station has been destroyed. I cannot send you reinforcements, but I can send in a few ways of times to give you a bit of a aid. And let's get these TIE Interceptors in there. Best looking TIE Fighter. Let me know in the comments, but the obvious answer is the TIE Interceptor. The, you know, like the, the advance is cool. I'll give you that. Just go ahead and bomb whatever you can find. I'm not really too worried about the individual target. Uh, how you doing, Vader? Somebody's getting repairs. Yeah, I want you guys like get closer. There you are. Odd about. Tie interceptor though, like for slick looking, not the best tie, just how it looks. So freaking cool. Oh, is it Return of the Jedi was the first time we saw those? And it was like an obvious advancement of what we had seen before. It's like, oh, they turned the TIE Fighter into a hot rod. Wicked. Yeah, move up. You've got cannons up there. If you're looking for a good tabletop ship for like a party to board that's Imperial, Gazanti. There's a bunch of really cool interior maps. They're only like three stories inside at least from a lot of the maps that you'll find. Little like assets that you can find that people have drawn up and made. Uh, if the players capture one, it's not like the end of the world, right? They're not super hard to to um, to run as like a, as a as a player ship or a player home base that's mobile. Uh, and there are civilian versions of them too, which is quite cool. All right, we are taking a lot of long range rail fire. Let's get all the frigates moving forward, all the bombers moving in. 
TIE fighters, go ahead and break and engage your engine so you're first. You TIE interceptors. TIE boost. I don't know what, what dev at over with the regular volume team was like, hey, let's do this. Let's give it boost engines, but I like it. It's very fitting. It makes them feel quick. Let's go. Uh, okay, no, we need to kill it. We need to kill it. I was going to say, let's kill the actual space station, but I've changed my mind. Stop it. I need those engines. Imagine if I had to repair my ships between missions. Like, send them back to the shipyards if I lost actual components. Oh, that was the space station going up. Okay. And our new fleet carriers, at least until the gladiators start arriving. I think these actually carry more fighters and in a wider variety than the gladiator. But this thing doesn't come with um, turbo lasers, so. You should be able to annihilate this thing. There you go. You still got a gun turret. Somebody pop it. And got it. We're having difficulty tracking them. Okay, as soon as it's down. As soon as this is down, they should retreat. I'd be really surprised if they didn't. Can we bring in reinforcements now? We can. I'll bring in our single. I almost said acclimator. Aquintons. You don't even need to move. Just fire from there and engage your weapons. Can you overcome their shield protection? Probably not, right? Like they'll regen faster. 18,000 shields with fast charging. Nah, yeah, they'll regen faster, but there it is. They finally lost the force strength necessary. Wonderful. We're making progress towards Ord Montel. Where ah, the Black Sun might be building the donut. The Doom Donut. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Last time I fought the donut, it was really powerful. We're not going to be replacing Gazantis. We can build proper carriers now. I can build the secular, can't I? I think so. I think that's a thing we can build if we had the uh, capital ship production uh, at one of like the Dreadnought Yards. Oh, Ord Montel. What do you have? You have a ship refitter. Which lets you build Venators. Unfair. And you've got a hyper velocity cannon, but you've probably not got much on the ground. Hmm. Versus Iridonia, which is packed. But they don't have, they don't have a base, right? It's just black markets and canteen. Yeah, they don't have a base, but they actually have a ton of rocket troops. So like regular infantry and a little bit of AA, and I could walk right over this. We might take the Iridonian colonies. Because Iridonia is funny. It's not just one planet. They have like a whole set of colonies over there. Uh, da, 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 the Zambrix. The Zambrix. All right. Well, Vader's got his Stormtrooper unit. Pretty much ready to go. I'm going to jump. Yeah, let's load them up. Upgrade we can move in. Underway. Upgrade complete. What did I upgrade? What did we build? I've got a nice stack of cash right now. I've also got an ISD on the development stage. Nice. I did pick up space tech last time. Advance to era to four and research post Death Star 2 technology. <gasps> Ooh. And then there's Nida, which we still need warships three. Hmm. Oh, have you finished any of these yet? So you've got my Lancers, but you haven't built one. Oh, it's almost done. Unpause. I want you joining the fleet. Tactical yes, please. Imminent. Hello, Rebellion. Where? Oh, okay. 
Oh, all right. Now this is a interesting vibe. You guys have gone double shield, one, M I wish they'd build more of these, MC-75s. So torpedo boat disabler, and then the better torpedo boat brawler disabler. It, not torpedo boat, but disabler slash brawler. Uh, I don't even think you have torpedoes. Yeah, you have the elite shield ability. Against a Golan 2, a full large dockyard, and one of my moths. Uh, do I have anything that I can reinforce this with? The fleet is out of position. And we're all going to blame Ozl for that. Because it just makes it, it just seems right. Oh, I wish I could do like a distress call and have you come over. Damn. I need you. Oh yeah, this is our first Lancer too. We got that as a, as a mission reward. Uh, crab baskets. I never took Vag Duel. Yag, not Yag, Yag Doll. Do, duel. I never took it, so I can't actually get through here, can I? Yeah, because I don't have Denon and, okay. All right, we're in it. We're in it to win it. Let's go. Cheaper production, Pearl Garrison building. 10% cheaper on this planet due to Garrison building. Hmm. All right. Not. 10% off. Oh, man. We can finally give up this life of Imperial taxation. 10% off of the one building. <laughs> uh, I so rarely build population centers because I always have population. It only really matters if you're on the back foot so bad that you're like, you're losing planets. That I don't think I've ever seen the space station before. <laughs> In a battle. Clear bay, Interesting. Ready for action. Uh, I probably should start researching stuff. Like ability recharge, armor, weapons. Yeah, let's do all of that. Station ready. Uh, you don't have any cool research. You have, what, tractor beam? Okay, tractor beam. We can get missile defense. Turbo laser defense. Yeah, turbo laser. Building started. Oh man, we can actually Building started. Building started. really go ham with this. Building started. Yes, and I have the cash Upgrade for it. Complete. Go, go, go. All turbo Confirmed. lasers all the time. I want range. They're so spread out. I don't think Building anything else would even come close to hitting them. Let's get all forces. They give me a venator? They gave me a Venator and an Acclimator and a Mining Tie! Where are you? I love the Mining Ties. Construction complete. Like, let's sell these people complete. underpowered TIE Fighters that are yellow. Complete. That's how you know you've been complete. nationalized by the Empire. Uh, oh, let's go ahead and grab more armor. Upgrade more weapons. Progress. They're almost in firing range. Beginning You're gonna get a quad gun. Everybody's turbo lasers have been installed. If we can do just a little bit of shield damage, I'll be pretty happy with that. Stand by. Stand by All forces. Let's look at the most gorgeous ship Upgrade in... Complete. Uh, where is it? Where's... Where do we put the Venator? <laughs> hey, it's not a... Oh, there you are. You're hiding underneath the space station. That's not bad. That's not bad. Hey, and we got the tech now. We're finding gladiators in the fleet. All right. That feels good. That feels good. All right, bombers, you guys, I feel, are going to be really important. Oh, and we've got our first Lancer in the field. Nice. Okay, hang on. Let's get rid of that, that line. The rebels have arrived and are actually taking a substantial amount of damage. Let's put all our fire into one target. Let's delete the MC-80 Justice. Stop it. I need those. Those turbo lasers are mine and you can't have them. Hey, we take out one shield generator. Primary target acquired. You may fire. When ready. Let's get the upgrade. Let's get the bombers all back here. You guys are looking okay. TIE fighters are ready. Lancers. I have dual Lancers. And Lancers come with point defense lasers. Uh, super useful against those torpedoes. Let's move you up just a little bit more, Lancers. Look at them. Covered in guns. So your job is literally to counter. I'm actually going to make you group one. I'm going to have you. No! I was just about to turn that off. That's fine. Hey, Venator. You should be in range. Ready to TIE Fighters, Changing course to you engage. are clear to engage. The enemy is separating. I want all TIE... Hey, this is the Mining Tizen. I want all TIEs to move in now. Let's go ahead and just auto-move, auto-attack. Let's go. All of you, except for the Venator. 
You're going to hold position and continue to fire. Bombers, break them. Go after the hull on that. And you Lancers could have been the hero we needed, but we fired off both of your abilities way too early. And now those torpedoes are going to land. Oh, but it's almost recharged. Please hurry. So I'm going to go deep with the bombers. I think the best bet would be to try to take out that shield generator before it becomes any more of a problem. Most of our damage comes from turbo lasers anyways. Can you fire again? Eh, not really. Not really. His shield is almost down. Oh, gladiator. Swing around. Swing around. Lancers, swing around. IPV. Go ahead and engage. Brutes. Go ahead and engage. Lancers are going wide. They're a little bit too far out. They should have been killing off all of their enemy fighters. Our bombers are just open. Looking good there. Uh, enemy star fighters are coming in. We need to deal with those fly wings before they actually get into firing range. Pushing's off of those Z95s. Hey, kick off your, your ability to tank because it's getting nasty. Please help so we can kill that unit. Also, you help kill that unit and you help here. Any reinforcements? Anything else we've got back there? Nothing. How you doing, Y? Uh, there's still a lot of Y wings ties, and you're stuck fighting our <laughs> 40 once. The wings go, 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 go. I need you. I need you right now. Get to it. Get to it. Get to it. All right, that's dead. Switch targets. Switch targets. We have way too many. Uh, pop that. Oh, you did launch. Nice. That's probably the wrong choice. It is the wrong choice. The right choice is to go after the torpedo launchers on the MC-75 and knock the shields out because the shields are kind of crap anyways. Don't go after the, yeah, don't go after the big Mon Calus. Go after the small old ones. We can kill this. Or we're not going to win this battle. We might be able to take out another capital ship and slow down this advance until we can get the reinforcements here. Save this city. We save this city with turbo lasers. Hold your position. Do not move. Yep, nope, don't move. Just do what you're doing. You're fine. I'm panic clicking. Don't judge me. <laughs> uh, Golan, I want you to be better. Not good. She's going up. It's fine. We've won the Starfighter battle, though. Like, handedly. They got one Z-95 squadron, and I'm about to break off a bunch of full ties. Go and eat them. Go and eat them, my clouds of doom. I had an idea for a future unit that people could class into for the Armco Shack meta campaign rule set, where you run a fighter squadron that is just like a TIE fighter squadron. You're just super cheap, basically a space version of conscripts. And if you lose your unit, you get to respawn with another wave. You just send it another way. <laughs> it's like, I love this idea, but you get a limited. So if you lose them both, you're, you know, you lose the unit. Um, the only unit that gets a respawn. Just a cloud of TIE fighters. Come on guys, you've got this, please. I know you're, you're getting hit with disablers right now. Um, I know, oh, ties, 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 ties. Please, please help because they will just eat us. We got him, we got him. Last bombing run's going in on the MC-75, please. <laughs> All of our capital ship, and I think even the Golan just completely shut down. I don't even know who to shoot at next. Most of it's like torpedo damage. Come on, there's the bombs. Mm, and there she goes, hey! All forces, switch fire. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They're both like the same health, except for you, Ties. There's still Z95s out there. That is the bargain bin of like sector defense forces. They don't, you can do this. Get in there. They're still alive. Do I have to send the brutes in? Do I have to send more weird Ties? They're being, ch there we go. Uh-oh. Can the, can, <laughs> Tie bombers kill an MC-80 before the space station does? Who knows? We're moving in. Off. 
Come on, come on, you've got this. At your command. I can slow this attack down. There's a group of, there's a group of arcs living their best life doing attack runs right now. Wait, we still got something? Oh, it's just one turbo laser, okay. And there's an R41 desperately trying to kill the population center. <laughs> got me. Uh, they have brought in. I'm gonna have you guys go and attack that. They're, the problem is we're gonna lose ties on every one of these spawns, aren't we? Because they've got rear turrets. Yeah, see, we just lost another tie. Squadrons are getting weaker and weaker. Oh man, come on, tell me we can do this. He's almost dead. We've lost the main launch bay. Space station is being absolutely wrecked. Bombers, why are you going so far out? Yes, Commander. Okay, they're on their attack. This is gonna look cool, because it'll be underneath the space station. Yes. And then bank away. Yeah, there goes the station. There it goes, but I've almost got it. Too bad there's no uh, collision damage. There was a 40k game where you could ram ships. And I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't turn-based, it was real time. And somebody in chat in the comments are gonna know what it is, but some days I wish we had that. Now, I know it doesn't make any sense, because no captain would ever purposefully ram their ship. Ships are valuable pieces of equipment, and if you have the opportunity to fall back, you will. It'd be incredibly rare. Come on, two. Just hit him a little bit. His shields are coming back. Doesn't anybody have any missiles left? There it is. All right, I think that's it. I think we're, I think we're done. Yeah, we're losing too many bombers. All right. Calculating jump to light speed. Pull out. Target locked. I know some of you are gonna be like, Shaq, no, you could do it. I mean, maybe, yeah, probably. Ah, they're Thai bombers though. And every one of those ships are very slowly killing all of our bombers. I'd rather just get the reinforcements here and have a proper fight than try to pick them to death. Uh, not bad. Three capital ships on their initial attack. The question is, can we get there in time to cut off their ground forces? No, the question is, can we even beat them with what we have on hand? We'll have to join up with the Soliston force. Hey, I need that Lancer. I need every ship I can get. Quickly, 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 quickly. Let's go. Are there any other reinforcements that I can send in this little sector that we've got control over? Not really. Hey, look, advanced loadout victories with, with TIE, um, tie Interceptors. What? You can make TIE Avengers? Oh, you're the only place that I've built the fancy TIE, uh, the fighter thing. Yeah. So eventually we'll be able to pick up like uh, Star Wings and stuff here. Please go faster. They're not gonna make it. You know the ground forces are staged, like they're probably already en route. Maybe. Did they just move? <gasps> they just move a unit out of there. There are only four capital ships now. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not even gonna set a Pathfinder, just go. There's the stack, here we go. Navigating. Remember, we're gonna have a minus 10% to our fleet capability because of the glory that is Ozzel. You're so bad, you make everyone around you worse. Like that kind of vibe. I think we can do this if we keep the victories in the behind. We might lose Ozzel here. What a shame that would be. Though to be fair, if we lose our only ISD down here in the south, we're probably done. There we're probably are. done. And this whole like region's gonna fall. Oh no, and your region relies on Ozzel. Ugh. Awaiting your command. Heading yeah. to destination. Big point. Uh victories. I don't want them to shut any other ships down. I really want them to just like focus their efforts. I mean, even the dreadnought can go up front. Maybe they'll just sit there and shell that. We still have our one turret. Constructing. Ready, come on. A Lancer. Ready. TIE fighters All protect out. the fleets. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know if we can pull this off. The problem is going to be that they have a lot better fighters than us. And we won't have that Construct fighter victory on our hands. We're going in. Hmm. Tie squadron here. Reporting in. And our only fighter, only bombers are a group of ARGs and a single group of TIE bombers. Roger that. Form up. <sighs> okay, okay. And the victories probably won't have time to do a lot of damage before the disablers get into range. I'm going to poke this and see how it goes. Maybe we can pull something off or at the very least kill like one of the one of the ships. Why I'm moving the dread not farther up. We can have him hull down like his tank up for a bit and we can lob missiles at him. Turbo lasers. See if we can kill one of the targets. Uh, I'm just going to let him come to us. Yeah. What is our next move? Destroyer here. Scooch up just a little bit more. Full speed. Get our own ion boat All up. Personnel standing by. Copy. They're spreading really wide. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Imperial missile destroyer here. Combat maneuvers initiated. Yeah, come on, I cycle copy. back. Reporting. I'm more worried about losing the Venator than I am losing the... Okay, so we know where their fighters are. Roger that. The group's probably right here. Here we go. I need missiles. You don't even have to be looking at them. Just start lobbing. All damage on that target. Oops, I misclicked off screen. Let's grab the bombers and go for more hull damage here. Cycle around. Tank up, yes, pop your ions, Activate fire here. Releases. Why are you Star turning Destroyer around? Standing by. Star Destroyer reporting in. It's your primary Star target, fire everything you've got, fire. hold your position. You. Hey, you two should have your, your main target. Where's our Lancer? So we do have a nice little bonus. We're jumping on a couple of fighters. They don't have their bombers because they're all way back here trying to deal with a <laughs> laser cannons. <laughs> Literally the thing that can kill them, but they are cycling back. So we're gonna have to kill one of these and run as fast as possible. I need you all focusing on this target. In. Yes, come on. Wow, you went wide for no reason. Okay. Awaiting. And your shield's already down. We've lost that ship. We're leaving. There's no way we're winning this. We're out and we probably lost the Venator. I don't remember if the disablers kill hyperspace in this or not, but the engines are still up. They're really just slamming everything into their shield generators. Come on, come on, two, one. Now, did the disabler ship destroy our hyperdrive? Yes. Oh, that sucks. Damn, there goes one of our Venators. We only have a few of those. The only way we can get more of them is if we get them through missions. Uh, yeah. I mean, Sullis is gonna be the last holding point back here. I could put a hypervelocity cannon and dig in, but. Nah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I don't really want to invest in it. <laughs> I don't want to invest in it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring ground troops over to Sullust. Moving into position. Uh, Ready for I have no way of getting you out of here, do I? Maybe. Maybe if we fall back in a, in a landing zone during the ground invasion, he might be able to escape. Ozzel. I would have I would have rather lost Ozzel than that Venator. That was painful. All right. Hey, quad drive yards. You should be just about done with that Tector, right? Yeah. I could get you another advanced warship factory and double our time. Multiple buildings lower the production time by 50%. Yeah, you know, let's do it. Construction. We should be pumping out ISCs. That means you're not going to be building anything for a while, but it's worth it. Oh, that reminds me. Vader's ground force. I wanted to start building up a real, like, Oops. Under Actually, yeah, I love that idea. Chindrilla, you're going to get infantry at level two. Upgrade. And you're also, because I'm never going to build anything else on here. I'm also going to give you light Tech vehicles too. We're going to go ham into research. All right, let's get this invasion going. Uh, I need to get AA. That's what I need. I need 
Hey, quad drive yarns. I know your orbital is busy, but your ground forces. Not you, Balmora. Balmora. ATMAA is not ready yet. What's my cheap anti air? Unit in production. TIE Fighters. Throw TIE Fighters at the problem until it goes away. <laughs> hey, Gladiators. I'm gonna send you to Doran as part of the blockade. Uh, I'm just gonna rely. Yeah, well, wait, it'll be fine. This is fine. Let's send Vader in first. Uh, we're gonna. I'm just gonna rely on turrets. There's only two in their T16s. What? Who cares? It's fine. Begin the invasion. I'm calling intergalactic dibs on Bogdan. It shall be ours. And hopefully, we can make another income planet. You're leaving the battlefield. The dark side is your Return to the battlefield. Return to the battlefield. Go, go, go. That's coming out soon. I'm excited for that. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, let's live our best Clone Wars lives. 501st with a ATT. Missile troops. What is this map? Whoa, they've got tank traps, battlements. Is there like a hill in the middle? Okay, I'm kind of loving all of this. Uh, let's get you a bunch of rags. Uh, a bunch of stormtroopers. Go ahead and head up. Let's go. We can actually build a bunker. Weird that it's a build bunker and not just you get a bunker. I'm kind of here for that. Uh, I will get you some support teams. I care, right? We should do that. So this is the first time we've done an all stormtrooper army. With a little bit of Imperial regular, it literally is just support to heal. Um, Moving out. more stormtroopers and another walker to support. Okay, I'm already, I'm already really digging this map. So we're basically going to push up to the hill and hold it. There's our walker. Okay, Vader. I'm going to move you down the middle. Yes, this unit will take the left. You're going to be right there. Yes, sir. You head up to that cover. I wonder if there's any actual cover position. Walkers go. Yes, Walkers go. And so it begins. Construction complete. Construction complete. They actually do have armor. Enemy armor over there. And none of the actual anti-armor units are up and running in that zone. I, I brought rocket troops, right? They're all on the left. Yeah, they're all on the left. We're digging in here. We can already see their shield generator, which is built into the wall. Oh, that's cool. I want experiment time. Vader, please stop dying. <laughs> Vader, please stop dying. Fall back. Go get in the command, AT-AT. -AT. All right, now we're looking okay. Now we're looking okay. You guys can take cover. Attack move has been given. Vader has gotten into his spot. Some of you I could put into a bunker if I wanted to. I don't really want to though. You're doing great. There is a, there is a turbo laser back there that's damaged. Let's move one of you over here. As quickly as possible. Hey, he's here. Wonderful. It looks like he's going faster. Maybe he's got extra motivation. So my my theory was that this actually provides cover. I think it does. We've got advanced training. It's got the little blue check mark. Is that what cover means? I don't remember. Enemies are taking hits. Engaging enemy. We're taking fire from a turbo laser. Enemy detected. All right, you guys can take the turbo laser so we can fire at their turbo laser. You up. You are up. Fire at their defenses. There we go. Are we still fighting that shield generator? We are. Keep moving. Let's get in range of throwing some stuff at this. Do we have anything to bring in? Nope. All right, right flank. Move up. Need you to further face that. That's a problem. Vader. 
Crap, baskets. Reporting. We're being turreted down. That turbo laser is gonna wreck us. Yep. Mayday, mayday. Vader, get out. Abandon the position. I feel like Vader's had a rough time in this campaign. <laughs> There we go. I love the idea that Shed would find Vader just a giant pain in the ass. That has always entertained me. Like Shed's got stuff to do. And this this Lord who's just been given his position, like he has no idea who he is. Is just constantly in the way and over emotional. Whereas, I think he'd be really frustrated with Thrawn because it'd be like, you have no political awareness whatsoever, Thrawn. You're really a pain. Like, just learn to play the damn game. You're in the Empire. <laughs> I figured it'd be very similar to how he'd see Shaq. But in, but in a different, like, at least... Oh, 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 we need to move in. Okay, we're actually breaking the walls. Cool, so the walls are taking shots. Uh, I love this planet, and I hope one of the enemies attack it. I don't know who the who the map maker was for this one, but please make more. Please make more. This felt good. This felt really good for a battle, for a battlefield. It felt like a battlefield. Like they had layers of defense. Um, I could push for the middle and get kind of the high ground. There was a shield generator here, which I quite liked. I could have taken this back route that I never had the opportunity to do so. I mean, I did. I just didn't. Uh, there's even something back here that's capturable that I didn't have a chance to explore. Ah, man, very cool. And we're only halfway through the map. There's still like a whole base area back here. We're still pushing for, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like a unique version of the Hoth battle where you've got the, the defenses and whatnot. This is obviously like the infantry fighting area. Here comes our bombers. Bomber supports arrived. Pilot. And these like bunker uh, deployment areas, quite good. Feels good. Okay, so let me get all units. Vader is healed up. They built double shield generators here? No wonder their turrets were hitting so hard. I'm just digging in now in case I have to hold this place. Uh, I almost said, where's my ATAT? -AT? Oh yeah. In a pile of wreckage. That's where it is. The good thing you built more. And the production facilities are starting to come online across the empire. Alright, we're shooting at something back here. And it's not... Okay, it's just the walls at this point. What's back here? We got another thing. Bunker that was captured. They have an evac spot. So not only... And there's roots back here. What? What? That's cool. Complete. It's back this way. There's even stuff back here. I wonder if there's a Merc Outfitter right here. So as the defender, you get an evac site in the rear. So you could run, right? Like here's your base, I imagine. This would probably be the main base area. So if you're like, ah, oh, there's no way I can hold, you can split as long as you don't, they don't have forces there and retreat. That's quite cool. Um. I need to know, man, I wish I had a scout group here. At last. Come with me. They've got to have a building left, right? There must be like one structure left. Let's take a couple of squads. I have no Find me a structure. Oh, they actually did. We like three squads, including a medic. That perfect, perfect setup. Maybe a rocket team would be a nice bonus, but head back there. What are we shooting at? <gasps> are the tank traps targetable? So the reason that this is cool as a defender is that it means that when they're shooting at the defenses, they're not shooting at you and it makes them a lot more valuable. It would seem I can't go through here. Trying to break our way through the tank traps. They seem pretty chunky. The enemy has retreated. The planet is Oz. Time to dig in. System control achieved. The system. 
Oh, I need to move my aces up too. That's right. That's right. Compliment of soon tier fell. And the 181st fighter wing. I think there's still I think there's still ties. Yeah. I think so. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. I can get Imperial Palace here and really start making money. That's that. Doing it. Doing it. We're doing it. So what's the bonus for the Imperial Palace? Uh, Moth Palace or Imperial Palace gives us a 300% income bonus. 200 plus credits on the baseline. Additional 12 population, which we're doing fine on pop. Uh, I mean, hell, they could even remove the population bonus and I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be sad. Uh, this unit, when stationed over a freighter deliver, yeah, more money for, for freighters going through. And that would be Corellia. And don't I get special, like, troopers as well? I get Royal Guard. Do it. Do it. And I'll give you a shield Join generator as well. I like the idea that a moth would install, like, a planetary shield generator. Uh, just because he lives there. All right, everybody, we're going to end the episode here because we're about an hour in. Thanks so much for watching. Corellia is being dug in, and we do have more tech happening. And the Lucre Hulk, the Doom Donut, is almost done. Four minutes out of the start of, what, six? No, it's like five. So no, it's still pretty early. Uh, I'm wondering where that's being built. Ord Montel, maybe. Mandalore, maybe. Uh, Fondor could be one. We've got some corruption issues over at Jakku we need to deal with, but... Who cares if Jakku's... <laughs> I, I guess they could backdoor us. No, they can't because we're holding Abyss. Yeah. All right, I look forward to reading your comments. I'll see you in the next one. Later, everybody.